So this is elemental sulfur. Sulfur. It's a lovely yellow powder. It's actually a th one of the three components of gunpowder. Sulfur. Sulfur is normally found in a yellow form, and it occurs quite widely in nature. So I have here a sample of sulfur. Well, it's actually a mixture of sulfur and sand that was picked up on, by one of my colleagues on his honeymoon. You see, he was thinking about chemistry even on his honeymoon, though I don't think he told his wife that. It's also used to clean up mercury as well. You know, you put a bit of sulphur on, binds with the mercury, forms mercury sulphide, so that you can sweep it away quite nicely. Sulphur isn't, has a rather unusual behaviour when you heat it up. When you heat up this yellow material, it melts at about 114 degrees centigrade, and then as it melts, it begins, first of all, as a runny liquid, and then as you heat it up, it goes darker and darker, and thicker and thicker, so it ends up like a very dark red-brown treacle. And if you pour this into water, it then looks rather like silly putty. You get out a material which is lighter brown, which where you can pull and um, <coughs> mould around for several hours till it goes hard. And the reason for this is that sulphur exists in this form as molecules of S8, that's eight sulphur atoms in a ring. And as you heat it up, these S8 rings break and you get longer and longer chains of molecules. So in the solution, it becomes more and more viscous. And then when you pour it into water, these chains are tangled up and exist at room temperature until eventually they break up, they break up and go back into their S8 form.